Let's introduce you to techniques that provide stable and predictable operating points for MOSFETs functioning as amplifiers. The first of these techniques involves fixing VG and connecting a resistance in the source lead as shown in the figure on your screen. For this circuit we can write VG equals VGS plus RSID. So what does this resistance RS do? It provides negative feedback which acts to stabilize the value of the bias current in the drain ID. Let me show you how. Now imagine that ID increases for any reason. This will obviously upset the operating point. So how will this resistor restore the value of ID? Looking at the equation on your screen, we see that VG is constant. So if ID increases, VGS will have to decrease. This decrease in VGS in turn results in a decrease in ID. Why? Because ID is dependent upon VGS. So the resistance RS restores ID. And hence our operating point is preserved. So what happens when we employ two MOSFETs from the same batch at two different instances of time on the same circuit? We have noticed that in the case of fixing VGS, the values of current were very different from each other. So what happens in this case? Now in this figure, the two devices are compared but we also have a load line as a result of the constraint imposed by this equation. In the previous case, there was no such constraint. The device operates on the load line. Therefore, the values of ID2 and ID1 are quite close to each other. We can even make this variability even smaller by having a large value for VG and RS. Why? Because the slope of this line is minus 1 over RS. Notice the red line here. The corresponding differences in the current will be smaller. Let's take a look at an example to understand how this biasing technique is beneficial.